Then the other thing is that one of the questions that was interesting was, um, how is AI harming people? And and I came up with a couple of you know ideas, mostly about job uh, job loss and stuff like that. But then it said, yeah, good point. And then it came up with like twelve examples, and I said. Um, I don't agree with those examples. Yeah. Let's go through them one by one. And this is why it took three hours of interaction. Um, and it would say, okay, like the first example was, and it was like a, a hospital case uh, situation where they're using AI to diag to either approve, I think it's to approve diagnoses for patients. Okay. And, and so what will happen is it says, you know, okay, this person's been diagnosed with this. And the outcomes were discriminatory, I guess you would say. But the reason why was because AI was looking historically at what percentage of different racial groups had approvals for treatment or whatever. Yeah. And it turns out that groups of color had a lower approval rate. So if black people getting a treatment were underrepresented, they were underrepresented in the new version too. And so, you know, it does, it does what it does very well. And if you want to train it to do something in a particular way, you need to know what your outcome you want is, and you yeah. need to be able to articulate it and explain it. This was a bad, a badly trained, badly created, implemented AI tool is what it was. What the implications of what they were trying to build was. Yeah, they didn't.